Welcome back to Sunless Skies. In the last episode, we helped out the luckless sister at Perdurance, and for the other sister, we got them on board our ship so we can take them back to the macabre counselor at the most serene mausoleum. Uh, and also explored a little bit around the very creepy mists around uh, Whirlberry Jacques de Mer, which is the next thing I want to do, is it really fully map out this area around Whirlberry Jacques de Mer. Uh, and then head up to the Quiet Sea at the Avid Horizon to do the cult stuff. First, I landed at Whirlberry at the end of the last episode, and we have this event, the Mists of Whirlberry. Fog rises from below, seeping through the wooden slats of the dock. The crowds waiting in the queue begin to sing, a watery, ululating tune of no discernible melody. Hmm. Join the song, offer sanctuary aboard your train, or sell protective talismans to the crowd. Oh, wow. Be a snake oil salesman. No. Yeah, let's offer sanctuary. Most of those queuing are unsettled by the mist. A few are frantic with terror. This would be a good recruitment opportunity. We hurry the panicked visitors aboard and they quickly sign contracts of service. Anything to get away from here as soon as possible. Uh, well, I don't think they really did sign any contracts of service because I didn't take any of them on board because I was full. Maybe we just changed out a couple of our crew members. Maybe some of them were tired and we just swapped. Is there anything I want to do here right now? I don't think so. There's nothing more to do. Um until I do the, the cult stuff and come back. Hmm, I can now queue for a pauper's pass. I'm not going to, of course. Yeah, okay, let's get resupplied. That's fine, all right. Oh, I don't think we took damage. Let's see some more creepy eyes in the mist. On the way here, we found the belly. <laughs> yeah, I want to explore every single little tiny inch just to see if, like, I don't know, if we're going to see some weird outline of, a, of something strange on the map once we've cleared it or what. I don't know, but I want to explore all of it. Didn't mean to do that. Yeah, the mists seem to have their own song, even. I think that's unique to the mists. I'm just hyper suspicious of everything. Now I'm wondering, like, are these rocks? Are these rocks like organs or something? You know, like, is that a spleen? <laughs> Hmm. Oh, the music is so cool. Something stirs below. Now that I think about it, the rocks do kind of look like organs. God damn it. I'm just seeing what I want to see, probably. Fritz Clarence's outcropping. Let's get every little patch of black. There 
There's that. The mists extend pretty far. Oh, hi. Sovereigns or... Let's listen to his last complaint. Much more interesting. Sky story and 50 experience. The fuck? Oh god. Okay. Let me get some distance. some help. Yes! Also, baby's on my desk and rubbing the microphone. Not a great time, baby. Hello, I love you. You gonna shoot or anything? I got a gun aimed right at me. <laughs> Why do I keep blowing the horn every time I hit him? Yes. Still don't want to do either of these. I don't want to risk my crew for a single pane of stained glass, and I don't want to gain tons of terror. Ah, whatever. Let's do it. That's only 5% terror. Okay, that wasn't that bad. It's also only at one savage secret, but yeah, that's worth it. Okay, when we study the scorn fluke, that's going to take us to ten. I wonder if anything will be different then. Commune. Nope. Now have ten. It still says you felt the scorn fluke's tormented music. And this description's still the same. I'm still going to keep doing it in the hope something different will happen. I'm not going to give up. No reason to explore outside of the mist. Looks like that's the edge of it. It almost touches Perdurance. They get to see it right outside their window, occasionally glimpsing some creepy, scorn fluky eye thing. Should I go over here? Yeah. I already went over there once, but. I think the mists do continue that far. I still think those hut roofs look like scorn flukes. Uh oh, there's an eye. Hi. Ugh. 
Yeah, so people, like, live out here? The Hour of the Wolf. Endure the lean, cruel hour. Success, wow. To terror. Okay, that's it for that rock. Man, look at all of these squirming eel patches. Okay, let's head back to Whirlberry Juxtamare, resupply for a trip to the Avid Horizon, and then see how far the mists continue up towards the Avid Horizon. At Whirlberry Juxtamare. Before I resupply, actually, let me see if I can get down my terror. Even though I know the truth of this place, which makes it pretty terrifying. <laughs> but let's try. So I'm at 65% terror. Um, I have seven Ministry Stamp Permits. That's pretty good. Let's use one to go in. Ah, choose a hat, sure. Definitely not going to the off-season if I want to reduce my terror. Succumb to the wiles of a rubbery lump cellar. Reduce our terror by 5%. Do I want more rubbery lumps? Sure. Another 5%. Explore a tiny lane bedecked with shops. Another 5%, I think. Hmm, I am apparently seeing the weirdness of World Wide Juxtamare. I thought that had ended because I kind of already knew what was going on. But I can consider the strangeness of the lanes. Uh. What's that going to do at this point? Um, let's do it. I raised our terror by 5%. <laughs> Mm. More of the port will become available to you. So yeah, maybe there's yet more to see. We've already seen this description before, by the way. Heck, probably worth it just for the Savage Secret, Gord of Course, Near Nectar, Salon Stewed Gossip. I think I can do one more thing. Stop at a charming tea room. Back down another 5%. Okay, time to leave. Leave swiftly. All right, let's head towards the Avid Horizon. See how far the mists extend out this way. Oh, yeah. I did just need to go a little bit more north to get the actual title on the map, Whirlberry Juxtamare. I think I found that diamond out there. Found a space diamond. Oh, these aren't even the Roiling Mists right here, are they? It's misty, but not the same. No, so it seems like they've already ended. Well, let's go east. Yeah, here they are again. That looks kind of like a face. Uh-oh. I'm always scared one of them's going to attack me. Yeah, this looks kind of like a weird face. I don't know where the eyes would be, though. That looks like a nose. That looks like a weird mouth. I guess the eyes would just be very close to the nose. Look at how close I am to what I think is my final level. So, just rock here. Oh, I thought maybe this was a dead end, but no, we can slip behind here. Jess's bite. 
Oh, this is going to take us off the map. Curious if there would be any sort of a special thing to happen here. Hour of the Wolf, Endure, Ouch. K and 5 Terror. Yeah, the Roiling Mists go right up to the edge of the map here. Let's see what happens. Graveyard of Stars. I think we've done this once before, but let's read it again because I don't remember it. A waste stretches before you. The star that reigned over it died cold eons ago. Or aeons? No, that's probably just an alternative spelling of eons. Now its domain is empty of life, drowned in darkness, harried by a howling wind. Your crew beg you to turn back. All that waits ahead is the slow shedding of all that you were, then a frozen death. Can venture in. 30% chance of success. <laughs> no. Propitiate the Waste Wife. You have angered one of the spiteful gods of the sky. Perhaps here, on the edge of the places it has taken for its own, you can win its forgiveness. Hmm. Sure. I'm sure this will be great. The scapegoat. The Waste Wife is not a forgiving power. It nurtures grudges with the care and tenderness that a sparrow nurtures its fledglings. But perhaps you can divert its retribution onto another. Someone less vital than yourself, a scapegoat. Oh, I'm not using a member of my crew. Using a caged catch, that makes more sense, but I don't have one. Okay, let's abandon this. No. Turn back. Yeah, the mist is very oddly shaped, isn't it? It kind of goes like... Well, I guess it kind of comprises all of these lips, almost, like... Kind of ends right about here, it goes all the way to the right here, it's going up here, but it doesn't really continue up this way, so it's kind of like this. So far. Scavenge for parts, thank you. Ten hole. That just goes off the map again. This is a, uh, I forgot what it's called, like a critical event that happens from, from uh, fighting. During your recent altercation, a round of enemy fire bored clean through the bridge. No one was killed, but your crew are shaken. Their minds wander, their hands tremble. The question orders, something must be done. Deliver a rousing speech, 14% chance of success. Order them back to work, nah. Issue a ration of brandy and lie to them. God, I guess. Tell them everything will be fine. Death took its best shot and it missed. 61% chance. Oh my god. Gain 10 terror. Instead of making them bellicose, the brandy makes them maudlin. They reminisce about the loved ones they might not have seen again. The chances they might have missed. The mood worsens. Ooh, weft of time. 
disturbance in the night. Follow the scent of burning. Another Langley Hall thing. Let's join them. Terror has fallen. Used up fuel. That's fine. So the mists don't continue up here, but they continue up here. Like a tendril of mist. Man, my supplies are pretty low. And it looks like that's the end of it. So I think that's the end of the mist. It's a pretty wide area. It's like... This. So now just there's some more unknown to the home bureau in the quiet sea. Oh god, what is that? Never seen a shot like that before. It looks fiery or something. Scavenge for parts. Ooh, real nice. 22 hole. I bought more fuel than supplies on purpose, by the way, because the Home Bureau sells supplies, but not fuel. in the sky back there. The sound of waves lapping at the shore. You're near the sea in the sky. Oh, hello. Aw, oh, fuck. Engine damage? A commotion from the engine room during your recent battle, shrapnel pierced the hole and perforated a cluster of pressure lines. In order to maintain the boiler pressure, your locomotive now has to glug fuel the way your aunt does sherry. Hmm. Shut the engine down for repairs. Press on and make repairs in transit, or leave it be. Your fuel efficiency will be reduced until you pay for repairs at a region's central port. Iron gives me a 94% chance of success. Let's do that. Press on and make repairs in transit. You'll just have to live with the fuel leaks in the meantime. I've got seven fuel. It can't be that bad, right? Just one fuel. Your engineers work as quickly as they can, shutting down one pipeline to work on it, then bringing it back up and moving on to another. Soon the boiler's frantic whine has settled once more into a steady thrum. Gain a sky story. Um, should I fight this corn fluke, is what I'm wondering. It's fine. It's fine, I've got enough resources, my hole is actually pretty good. Let's do it. No, didn't mean to shoot again. Shit. Oh god, so much. Happening. Stop. Happening things. Old ghosts. Uh, for years you've been haunted by a ghostly presence. Now it's paying you a visit. Mm. I want to do whatever doesn't give me terror. I'm pretty sure leaving my cabin and walking does, though. Fine, I'll use 
seven of my tales of terror to scare it. Ha ha! Oh, that actually reduced my terror. Seven tales, seven terrors. You whisper stories of dread into its cold ear. When you reach the third story, the specter begins to tremble. Ho ho! Halfway through the sixth, it shrinks away. And by the time the seventh is done, it has fled back to whatever gloomy hall it calls home. The night is yours. Take that, ghost. I see we both have terrible aim. I'm just going to keep communing with the Scorn Fluke. Oh, wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. It's different now? Impale your hand upon a spine. Combine your memories with its own. This will grant a moment of inspiration. Failure may substantially increase your terror. Shit. Okay, so it sounds like now options have changed, now that I've reached 10. But... Failure may substantially increase terror. I'm at 69, nice, percent. And my chance of failure is 70%. I don't think I should do this. Hmm. Should I tear off a trophy? I know my terror is high, but like, I'm also pretty close to the Mosarine Mausoleum. I can just pop over there to get my terror down to, like, zero. I don't remember if I have Immaculate Souls on me. Hmm. Let's tear off a trophy. Success will substantially reduce your tear. Nice. The piece you rip from the eyelid, you, is taller than you are. It will make an awe-inspiring banner. A stoker fusses over where to hang it. Too close to the fires, and it'll become desiccated and frail. Anywhere else, and it'll impede movement. You leave its final placement for the crew. Captain shouldn't get drawn into the niceties. Glad I could get a little eyelid banner. That's the Avatar Eyes, and I know that green color. Okay, well, this is explored territory now. I'll meet you at the Home Bureau. Bad choice there. It's alright, it actually surprisingly didn't hurt that much. Search the crew cabins. Savage Secret. Five tear and a charred stovepipe. I have 37 charred stovepipe nameplates. At the home office. The Market of Truth. Purchase a caged catch from the preacher. Yes, I need those. 150 sovereigns. The preacher reaches for a cage and mutters, as whatever it in, uh, is inside it gives her a quick nip. Straight from the entrezy, she promises. A young jellyfish? It's hard to tell. Some creature beneath, trapped when the avid horizon closed its doors after the exodus. Get a port report. Speak to the prudent observer. Have we done that before? I guess we probably have. I just don't really remember it. Once a brilliant astronomer of the Royal Society, now consigned here in his dotage, he watches the gate. The prudent observer is out on the observation deck, telescope in hand. He waves at you through the fog. Coming closer, you notice his table of logbooks. Date back to 1898. Those tallies mark people coming in. He leaves through a few pages to 1902, where sheaf after sheaf is revealed to be blank bar the dates. 
wasted pages. Your terror has fallen in a vision of the heavens. Let's take tea. Reduce our terror by a good amount. I think that's about all there is to do there. Another bargain of tea. I feel like I've found a lot of bargains of tea at the places I've been. Well, let's get as many supplies as I can. Because I can't buy fuel. And let's head over to the Quiet Sea. The Quiet Sea. Let's go down the stairs. Descend. Search for the displeased. Yeah, that's what I needed to do for the quest. Since I'm conspiring with the cult. What could possibly go wrong? The parson asks you to meet with them to encourage them to join him at Whirlberry. There's nothing here save for the cold and the teethed wind tracing fingers down your spine. No one is nearby. If you're going to talk to the displeased, you'll need to go further. You'll need to find the acolytes here and gain their favor before you'll be able to persuade them to travel. Okay, yeah, I need to be embraced by the displeased. Yeah, so just like I was embraced, or I don't know if I was embraced, but I was temporarily liked multiple times by the... Uh, what were they? The Sanctified? I think. Gotta do the same for the displeased. Wait, return to the flotilla? What is approach the gate? What is this? Once thousands spilled through from the world you left behind, now it's half submerged and there have been no newcomers in more than a year. Your crew plead with you to stay. I forgot what this did. It gave me a shit ton of terror. Yeah, so we have done this before. Wow, 15 terror in just one sky story. That is not worth it. Should have listened to my crew. Return to the flotilla. So I'm going to have to figure out how to appease the... How to appease the displeased. A cozy berth near an open hearth. That's not the one. That's for the sanctified, I remember. The displeased. Probably a crow's nest. Lonely, eerie, far above the mists. You're strengthened by solitude. Displeased? Yes. I think that's what... Uh, they are the displeased, so I think you have not actively upset them means... Yeah, they're kind of warming to you. They're indifferent to my existence. Yay. Let's sing. What the dis what are the displeased sing about? Not life. Of loss? Probably of loss. Yep. Give a confession. An air of yearning, an air of sentiment, an air of despair. Probably despair. What hope is there left to you? No! As for the sanctified. It's okay. I probably don't have to nail every single one of these to uh, do something with them, so that's probably okay. So it is not despair. Not despair. Not despair. I will still forget that. What will I do with the confession? Uh, keep it as for the sanctified. I know that. Hmm. Probably betray it, right? A sacred given only has power if used. That's probably a displeased thing to do. Indeed. The displeased breed contempt from their familiarity with your person. I don't know what that means. Is that a good thing? Yeah, here we go. Speak with the displeased on behalf of the Whirlberry Parson. He sensed a kinship between the displeased and they who must grieve. Now that the displeased tolerates you, you may offer the parson's leaflets without the acolytes recoiling. Not all the displeased accept your vellum offerings. Those that do withdraw to cold corners to consider the parson's words. You do not know whether he promised betrayal or suffering or merely comradeship with a being that holds their virtues in greater sum than any human could. But a few gather their meager possessions and make ready to leave, eagerly anticipating greater disappointments. <laughs> These acolytes relish abandoning their colleagues and extinguishing the few sparks of sentiment that still smolder in broken hearts. They'll see you again at the Church of They Who Must Grieve. 
God, such lovely people, huh? The displays do not bother to say farewell. They have no expectation of your return. Return to the cult in the off-season to report your success. Okay. Um, oh, we're actually not quite done with all the stuff we can do for each day, so let's die into the feast. You know, see if we can see what we'll get from the displays as like a final thing. Traditional decorum. That's definitely not them. Gusto, no. With restraint? But you'll master your desires. That's probably the displeased. Yes. Mm. No, can't actually do anything. Okay, let's leave. Turns out I do have two things of Immaculate Souls, so let's head over to the most serene mausoleum to turn that in. To uh, reduce my terror down to basically zero. Because it's amazing to use that at the most serene mausoleum. Like, I can't believe how good it is. Uh, yeah, I want to do that before I head back to Whirlberry Juxtamare. Don't want to go around with like 70 tear. Let's head back through here, through this little unexplored area, to the most serene mausoleum. Hello. Strip it for parts. I guess there's not that much of a point in doing that because I'm about to head back to London. So let's search for valuables. A roll of thirsty bombazine, totally worth it. The cracked glass. Oh, do I? Oh, I have a pane of stained glass. Finally, that's the first time I've ever actually had a pane to repair the cracked glass. Replace them. You need your crew and yourself in sound mind. Repair the windows with a pane of stained glass from your hold. Reduce our tear by a lot. Soon the shards are swept away and new panes fitted in the casings. The stars are once more hidden away behind their prismatic glass, glowing in sullen hues of green and purple and red. Space tea. Okay, looks like that's about it. Let's just go on past this dead sun and go into the most serene mausoleum. At the mausoleum. I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. So I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, we're going to use the Immaculate Souls to get our terror down to zero. And we're going to finish that macabre counselor's quest since we have the, their daughter on board. And then after that, probably head back to London, resupply, repair, and then go back to Worldberry Juxtamare to visit the cult. <laughs>